Hello guys, welcome back to CJ Made Simple. In today's video, I'll show you how to use Zoom Selected in Revit. What is Zoom Selected? This allows you, when you have a huge scene, let's say it's a um, concept for big city and I would like to work particular in on this building. When I select it, when I press one button, I'm here. Only by using one button I can go to the desired object without endless scrolling. How it is in Revit? If you go here and I would like to adjust this wall, there is no single option in the default settings where which allows me to zoom only here I need to use this endless scrolling to go there and it's really um, hard to use you want to make fast changes it's a kind of a annoying detail so let me show you how to apply this logic from 3ds max or from Rhino there is also zoom selected option like this how to transfer this they are one script in Revit. So what are the default options of Revit? If you go to the shortcuts, which the shortcut for the opening this uh, menu is KS. Otherwise you can find it in view, interface, keyboards, shortcuts. So if you type in here zoom, these are all of the default options and none of this even though I have assigned shortcuts to all of them, none of this is giving me these options. Option, pressing one button to go and zoom something closely in particular. This comes in handy when you have a bigger scene, smaller scene, when you're making options, let's say, like here, when you're designing a house and you want to make some changes on it. It really fasten, fasten your work a lot. So my solution is this script. You can find it um, on this website. You can find the link in the description. Download it. It's free. And the installation is super easy. Just double click install now. And I'll show you how to add a shortcut and which is my favorite shortcut. Okay, that was it. You might need to um, I will press always load because I want to use it further on, not only for this scene, but you can just test it with loud ones. Okay, then here in the add ins, this is the this is the script. I prefer to use it with a shortcut. Here in the descriptions you can see if you hover it and hold it, there is a super cool menu opening showing how to do it. But let's do it together now. Just press KS to open the shortcuts. Either type it or and find it this one or you can find it here in the add-ins over here assign shortcut my favorite one to, for this is just a Z as I use in 3ds max but it doesn't allow to use one letter shortcut assign. it's telling me that's already assigned if you want to turn off this sound please check our video you can find link uh, in the description and above in this video so remove this one and then assign over here to zoom selection okay and now let's test it if we'd like to zoom over here voila I'm there so imagine if you have if you have a huge scene like this and you're super far away you just would like to change this window over here double click on your desired shortcut button and you're there as a dessert i would like to share with you uh, a quick idea which is 
I love to use transferring super cool options and shortcuts from one program let's say Rhino or 3ds Max to another one and this is how I increase my workflow so if you have liked anything in the video drop a like and subscribe we'll be super thankful stay with us in the next video thanks a lot if you enjoyed anything in the video then drop a like and a big thank you to everyone who does if you haven't subscribed yet click below and join us we have some great videos coming up that you don't want to miss thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye for now